big enough to raise crops. Then we held a lottery uh, through a church that helped us, and they were working directly with these Hmong families. We had a lottery and we awarded the 30 plots of land to various families. The next morning, we saw dozens of adults walking across the street to begin working their land, which was right by our church. They had hoes and rakes and shovels and all kinds of implements. Uh, they began planting, clearing the ground, first of all, of all the weeds and the rocks. And then they began planting all kinds of things, squash and onions, corn, and some things I'd never heard of as well. And slowly over the next few weeks, the land started turning green as the plants uh, sprung up. Every day there were family members out there, young, old, working their plot. And eventually it looked like a jungle out there, large stalks of corn, and vines of squash that stretched everywhere, even some trees and some pieces of furniture that they brought up to sit out there while they were working. So when it came time for harvest, we could see the families walking back home with arms full of produce. And then the most beautiful thing happened. A group of them came into the church office and with hands full of all kinds of yellow onions and squash and cabbage. And it was really fantastic. And they were smiling ear to ear as they presented us with their offering, uh, their way of thanking us for the land that we had provided. So our community garden, I think, turned out to be one of the most uh, wonderful experiences of my ministry, really, while I was there. But I think that experience uh, is, offers us another parable, another form of the parable that we hear today. Isn't it true that each of us has our plot of land in this life, not physical property, but we're given a period of time and a place in which to live our lives. God places us here and he asks us to work so as to produce something beautiful. God also gives us what we need, all the implements to work our land. He provides us with skills and talents and gifts which can assist us in living productively. Some of these skills and gifts are, are inherited perhaps from our ancestors and from our parents and grandparents who teach us the values that are necessary you know, to live life successfully. And then if we're responsible and we work hard with what we've been given, we produce a harvest. What is the harvest we are asked to produce? Love, mercy, justice, peace, faith. These are the fruits of our labor that we can produce by using the plot of land, the parcel that God has given us. In the gospel, Jesus tells the familiar parable about the sower who's sowing seeds. Some falls on various surfaces. On some surfaces, it fails to take root and is simply blown away by the wind or eaten by birds. On some surfaces, it takes root, but the soil is shallow. And so when the harsh weather comes, it doesn't survive. But some seed falls on fertile ground where it takes root and it grows and it produces amazing things. What kind of soil are we? Are we just a hard surface that's impervious to God's love and mercy and grace? Are we shallow? so that we don't allow God's blessings to really take root deeply within us? Or are we fertile soil, which is open to receiving God's blessings, that's open to working hard with those blessings and nurturing those blessings so as to produce something beautiful for God? The choice is really ours. We can work the land we've been given so that it becomes productive, or we can let it lay barren. Let's produce a beautiful uh, harvest for our Lord and his people so that one day he will welcome us 